quadriceps muscles is, is actually not one muscle, but four muscles in a group here in the front of the thigh. So the quadriceps, we have the vastus lateralis, rectus femoris, vastus medialis, and deeper down the vastus intermedius. So this is a pretty big and broad muscle group. Uh, a lot of people think of it as just here in the front, don't realize it wraps to the inner side, inside almost the groin area in there. And it actually is just past the IT band on the side, so it's more lateral than most people, most people think or know of. So to roll the quads, what you want to do is go nice and slow. This is a big, thick muscle group. So you want to go slow and controlled so you can really, deep, uh, you can really get down to those deeper layers. Uh, and you want to break it down into thirds, so that inner third, the middle third, and outer third, just to make sure you hit everything. A lot of people I see continuously do just right down the dead center of the thigh and don't realize they're only getting one small portion of that muscle because the muscle is so big, so we have to move in different positions to get the entire thing. So on the roller, if we're starting on the inner third, so this is almost almost towards the groin and the adductor muscles, we're going to turn this way a little bit and kind of rotate that foot up. So we're still in the front of the thigh, but we're on the inner portion. And then we go nice and slow all the way up to the hip as far as you can comfortably go. And nice and slow all the way back down. Okay, once you do that, we can roll straight on top of the roller. So we're getting that, that middle part of the quad, the front. Nice and slow all the way up to the hip joint. And one of these muscles attaches to the hip. So we want to make sure we get all the way up to your just below the bone, pointing prominence in the hip, and then all the way down to the kneecap. Our next one, if we turn, I'll show you this way just because we're shooting here. If you turn on the outside to the lateral part, you're going to roll the outer third of the quad. Tends to be pretty tender through this area. And then from there, what I like to do is actually turn a little more. Again, that quad slides out just more laterally than the IT band. So a lot of people miss that section. So you're, you're slightly, you see my, my knee is actually pointing up this way. I'm slightly on that posterior edge of the quad on the far side of the IT bank, and this is a pretty important area to get as well. Any of those spots, if that feels like it's not enough pressure when you're putting just one leg on the roller and not reinforcing, you can add a second leg on top to add more compression and get deeper down. So if I want to go and lift up, now one leg is on top of the other, all my body weight is on. From there, I can roll to whatever position I want to make sure I'm getting the entire quad all the way to the hip using my arms, pull myself all the way to the knee. Thank you.